The fourth season of Bellator Fighting Championships is in the books, and in case you miss any of the tournament action, the controversy, and of course the ladies, let's get you all caught up. How silly would it be if at the beginning of the NFL season the commissioner said, Giants versus Dolphins, that's my Super Bowl. I wanted to eliminate that and allow the fighters to control it. If you win, you move on. If you lose, you go home. Like I'm a martial artist, true and true. An artist uses a canvas and paint, and my favorite colors to use are black, red, and blue. Four tournaments took place this season, including the crowning of an inaugural Bellator Light Heavyweight Champion. What started out with eight fresh Light Heavyweight Tournament participants came down to two. The submission of the Year candidate Richard Hale. In front of the tiger! He's out! That is it! Faced off with French knockout artist Christian Mpumbu in the finals. After a back and forth affair through the first two rounds, Mpumbu would explode in the third with his right hand. In the featherweight tournament, Brazilian Patricio Pitbull Freite had revenge on his mind after coming up short in the Season 2 featherweight tournament final. That redemption would translate into a highlight reel for the fans. Good left hand. In the finals, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt would meet unheralded prospect Daniel Strauss. The 23-year-old would come out on top, dominating all three rounds to win the tournament. I love you, Looking to build off his younger brother's success, newly signed Patriki Pitbull Freite looked like the favorite in the lightweight tournament. And that's your oh, good right here. Here. Fighter. Oh, big knee! If I is hers and all, he's got trouble. He's done. But undefeated former NCAA Division I wrestler Michael Chandler had other plans in the finals, scoring numerous takedowns and grinding out a unanimous decision to win the lightweight tournament. Chandler. Highly touted free agent signing Jay Huron proved his worth by winning the welterweight tournament, but it didn't come without its share of controversy. In his first match, there was a questionable tap in his victory against Anthony Lapsley. The referee said break, that is it, that is the end of the fight. Lapsley is furious. Then came two close decision wins against Brent Weedman. Rick Hahn in the finals. Elation from Jay Haran, victorious by way of split decision. The win earned him the $100,000 prize and a shot at welterweight champion Ben Askren. Askren, shine on my belt for me, man. I'm coming for it. Uh, I watched Jay Haran tonight and I wasn't impressed. I'm in his dressing room, so who knows, he might come try to get me, but he ain't got nothing for me. Speaking of controversy, Bellator featherweight champion Joe Warren talked about a big game prior to his 137-pound non-title catchweight super fight against Marcos Galdao. He's always psychotic and out of his mind. So. Came out here to look for someone that could beat me, and uh, we don't see that there's anybody out here. Man. <laughs> My thoughts are that I'm going to punch a hole through him, rip out his heart, and just make me eat it. You know, my future's so bright at that time, I gotta wear shades, boys. But it would be Galvao dominating most of the fight, that we would come up short on the judges' scorecards in one of the year's most controversial decisions. <laughs> Bellator welterweight champion Ben Askren was also active in non-title action this season, as he met Sengoku veteran Nick the Goat Thompson. Askren would deliver, winning the fight by unanimous decision, and consequently sending Thompson into retirement. Would have liked to finish, I know the fans are on my ass about it, but uh... I still haven't lost around you to ask me. How do you like me now? Other highlights from this season included Eddie Alvarez successfully defending his 155-pound title over Season 2 lightweight tournament winner Pat Curran as he utilized an arsenal of counterpunching and kicks to take home the unanimous decision. Eddie Alvarez! And Bellator middleweight king Hector Lombard kept active as he knocked out Falonico Vitale in a non-title super fight. ladies were a big part of season four, and no, I'm not referring to new ring girl Jade Bryce. Everybody, I love this girl so much. Will you marry me? No pressure on national television, go ahead. Yes. I couldn't do it without her. If people think that she's my corner because she's my fiance. No, she, she's my corner because she's just that damn good. And thank you so much, Gordon. Well, congratulations. I like to say, you ain't you. I did it. Bellator made huge strides in its fourth season as it debuted on MTV2 and certainly made its case as a legitimate number two promotion in mixed martial arts behind the Zufa dynasty.